Let's go to the next step, this arm here, and for that we also create a cylinder and we take edge, e <laughs> eight edge loops here. The reason why I do this because I want to keep it simple. And of course we will scale it. And be sure that it is right here in the middle. I never moved from my center line, but if you m moved your object somewhere, somehow, then be sure to readjust it. I'm just switching back to wireframe and shaded mode and to because we won't put it somewhere here rough. It should be exactly here on the same line so that our life afterwards when we connect it with booleans will be a little bit easier. So be sure that with C curve snapping you move and the middle mouse button so click somewhere here on the curve in the middle that it is perfectly adjusted okay of course when i move in, in this direction it's no problem but don't move here from side to side then what i do is i start here well, that's a little bit thicker maybe I do also some bridging I will see but the first thing I will do is to create the basic shape and because the form is here sharper and here on the bottom it's round I take these two edges I push them up it looks okay not so much and I scale it so that it's moving from left to right so I have more the form that um, maybe when I see here the, um, the line still maybe pushing it a little bit more down I will define this later on with an edge loop, but so this should be more or less the form to start from. And because I'm too lazy to select all the, fa the faces to extrude, I'm just deleting the edge loops and take just one face and then go to extrude and do some extrudes, I do them a little bit further and be sure that your adjusting so you rotating it a little bit okay do another extrude move it and rotate it a little bit okay Another one. Let's see, actually it should be thicker um, in this direction. So what I do is I just take the whole thing and scale it up because actually it should be as thick here as this defined okay so it's not perfectly round then I'll do the last extrude and but I'm trying to find a connection point more or less
to connect them. This will be a fun one. I'm just moving it somewhere here and then I'm thinking about later how I connect this perfectly with actually it has to be even a little bit thicker so just do another scaling so that this is cutting here see that and maybe I just take this back to that yeah I think this will be easier than later on for my connection you can do some more edge loops here in the middle I do the same thing on this side so I get rid of my edges do an extrude so let's see from the side what you should do when you extrude here I also rotate this and I will scale it rotate it even more because I want here the shape to yeah okay first one second one another extrude I will scale it and rotate it and maybe I have to move it a little bit and scale it even more I'm just checking here the view from the side so that's not too not stretching it in any direction too much and another extrude maybe or maybe not so far now I'm doing the last one so now I'm positioning completely straight more or less but I'm also scaling up and rotating and move it somewhere okay it was too much scaling so not too bad so let's check here looks good I do another last extrude and push it inside and I will scale it also in this direction I also check here this one scale it a little bit and that one just a little bit so that I have I have a nice smooth transition and I'm just selecting here the face inside because actually I just want a connection somewhere here at this line so that's my goal good and then I think I could try to do boolean but first I have to do some more edge loops because I need them afterwards for connecting and so I insert here some more edge loops one here another one somewhere I'm not sure which one I will connect here take some more in the middle and then I need another one here at this height and another one here so I have plenty of possibilities to do some connection stuff and before you do some booleans please save your scene And then I do my first boolean here mesh boolean union and now I have to do some rework of course when I'm in the three mode you see okay not too cool 
but you learned already how to connect. So be sure that you move the right points, so don't change the basic cylinder, <clears throat> so the points should stay where they are. Yeah, maybe I will connect this one. So, connect this one here, maybe I do here later on another connection. Then connect some points to this one. Of course you can mirror the whole object, so maybe it's easier, don't have too much work. Here I do a merge. Merge here. Oh, I need more threshold so that it works. Then also, I just press G on the keyboard to do another merging. Then let's see in a three mode much better. Switch off my wireframe and shade it because it's still not perfect. Actually, maybe I'm deleting this edge loop here so that my transition will be a little bit better. And um, maybe I'm trying to connect that one. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. Have a look again. Here it looks a little bit weird. So I'm deleting another edge loop because my transition doesn't look good so sometimes it's better to get to get rid of edge loops so that the form will get a better shape and you see here i need no i will add this edge loop later on i do first the connection the boolean work up here of course i will do some more rework later on so that this will look even better but it's okay for the first step and now we do some boolean work here and for that I will insert here another edge loop set somewhere here that I have possibility to connect and what I will do because I want to see this point here because I need it later okay I'm just trying to do boolean also here and then my rework will help me to to create a better geometry because I'm no maybe we will try this one first so I take this three edge loops and make them flat yeah this will help us to create a better better connection Checking the side view. Make this a little bit bigger. So I have here the maximum height. Of course, I have to go lower here afterwards, but.
but to make it a good connection I also need the points here I'm just moving it out of the way so also this one should be flat I think yeah it will just help us later on for our journey oops I scared too much so always be sure which one you select so flatten that out Move it upwards, so now I'm repositioning my and be sure that this one don't cut out of here, okay, in this area. So just make it a little bit smaller if necessary I know it's a little bit tricky just to, to do this kind of connection so I'm moving this up a little bit And of course, you can move it down. So, it should look somehow like this. And we, with the Boolean rework, we will do the rest. So, then do mesh Boolean yin yin. Now, this is really ugly. Now, we do some connection. Okay. We connect all these vertices. And I'm just checking my merge that it has a better threshold. Then merge this stuff. Merge this one. This. So I'm just pressing always G on the keyboard, don't forget that. Actually, I could get rid of this one. Then I need actually some edge loops here. I forgot that I uh, insert edge loop, but now I can connect somewhere here and also another one here. And then I do some merging. Merge, merge, and with the multi cut tool, does it work? Oops, yeah. Nope. When something strange happens, then sometimes you should delete the history. I'm deleting here this triangles and see if yeah there's something not cool with I'm doing some more merging, so it's just a little bit of play around with all the stuff and when this is still not cool then I have to do some more other work okay it works no it doesn't work so I deleted the face which is Strange, so you could also do that and then fill hole again. Your booleans will do some different stuff, so it's never pre predictable. It's 
so. Not too bad, but this should be the line going down here should be a little bit better. So I'm just taking this point, that one, and push it up so that it looks like a smooth transition. And so here it looks fine, here it doesn't look fine, so maybe we have still, yeah, issue with a face which isn't connected well. So sometimes you could also just do a bridge or fill hole, it depends. Sometimes, okay, this is also not cool. That's the problem with booleans. So, where's fill hole? Here it is, and do some manual connection. And let's see, yeah, it's better. Here it's not too bad actually. We need some edge loops. Now I'm trying an edge loop now mm, because I need one here on this edge and see what happens. Yeah, now I have here a nice curve going down. The problem is that this is not going here it should go down here and what I do is I just take some manual edge loop stuff so do here then I get rid of this one. It's on both sides, of course. And I do manual because I need edge loops next to each other. I stop here in the triangle, the reason why. So go out of the tool. because it should smooth out here. And actually, maybe just get rid of this one. I do a touch at once here and I do a connection here. Oops. Good. Now I have my Edge here is smoothing out. It's a kind of different geometry, so I'm just checking which side I have to delete. So I'm fixing one and mirror it later. Also here I do some some more fixing because it doesn't look nice. Mm. 
what I do is I create here some kind of shape. And also here, connect that one because I want to get rid of this triangle stuff. Because the small thing, it will look better. So this is the style that geometry should look like, more or less. Actually, not sure if we don't. Yeah, we can do it. And I do actually look at this. Then I do another edge up here. And to do it even better, um, doing this one. Look, this looks small. And here in the top, I guess I have to move this one a little bit, that one, so that this is a straight, <coughs> a straight line here. Good, then a mirror. Mm. I have to mirror in X minus, merge border, bounding box, yeah, mirror. I think it got thicker. I'm just checking your world. Yeah, world. Maybe I had somewhere an issue with an edge loop. So, not too bad for the start. Of course, you can do some more tuning here. Mm, let's see. There we can do Better, better edge flow, better edge loop. So this gets round here. Okay, it doesn't look good. I have to do some more adjustments. So this edge loop. No. Leave it. But I have to do some adjustments. I'll select both of them. So I try to follow here the form of. Be sure that you always take the one on the back side also. to get the better edge flow here. Let's 
and where the connection actually is but here we have too much triangles going on one point and I want to get rid of them so go here to multi-cut if it works So I'll get rid of this one and I also want to get rid of this one. Still not perfect, but so that you got an idea how this should look like. Okay.